click the link on screen or the link in the description below to find out how to win $20 a month for the rest of your life. You will not regret it. What's up everybody, I'm the Net Alliance. Today we are ranking all five Gears of War games from worst to best. I will be taking into account all elements from each individual game. From story, to multiplayer, to gameplay, all of it will be taken into account. Now I am counting Gears of War The Ultimate Edition with Gears of War 1 because it's technically the same game, just with a facelift. Also, I personally love every Gears of War game, besides that one. You can probably guess which one I'm talking about. But with all that said, this is my pure opinion list. So let me know your opinions in the comments below, but try to keep it civil down there. Without further ado, let's begin. Starting at number 5, I have Gears of War Judgment. Judgment to a lot of people is like Rocky V. They acknowledge its existence, but they prefer they didn't have to. Now don't get me wrong, Judgment is not a bad game. I just consider it lacking especially compared to the rest of the series. Story-wise, it's fine. And although I love Baird, he just isn't lead man material. And there's no way he could take the place of Marcus, who in my opinion is up there with Master Chief and Kratos in terms of legendary protagonists. But at least Judgment tried, and I must give it credit for that. However, the wonky multiplayer and the weird horde mode places this game at number 5. At number 4, I have Gears of War 4. Now, I wanted to kind of put this one a little bit higher, but when I look at the rest of the series, it's really tough to do that because they're all just great games. In fact, Judgment is the only game I really am not a huge fan of. The rest of them I love, but that one's just kind of me. Now, as you may know, at the time of this recording, Gears of War 4 is the newest installment, and I think it really does hold up with the rest of the series. I think the story's good, the new characters are awesome, the main character named JD Phoenix is actually the son of Marcus Phoenix, and he's voiced by none other than Spartacus, which is awesome. The gameplay is just as fun as I remember, and the multiplayer is just as good, and the horde is awesome. One of the nicer things about this game is the lighter tone they go with it. There's a lot more comedy in this one compared to the older ones. I found myself laughing almost every single cutscene. Not every single cutscene, but there were a couple cutscenes throughout like every chapter where you're kind of like, haha, that was funny. But there was one joke about like Dell always choosing paper that, that that didn't land. I felt like that was like a B movie type of joke. But there are some really good ones. There's a moment in this game, and if you played it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't played it yet, you're gonna you're gonna know what I mean. Where I actually thought, oh my gosh, they actually did it. They actually killed this guy. I'm not going to say who it is, I don't want to spoil it too much, but I actually, I thought they killed him, and I thought it was over. And you know exactly what I'm talking about when you get there, and it just blew my mind. Of course, things didn't happen the way I thought they did, which is great, but, you know, you'll, you'll know what I mean. It just hit me so hard, I have to mention it and make a big deal out of it on this video. Well, there's not much to say about the new installment. It's just a really good game. There's only one thing that really annoys me about this game, however, I just feel the chainsaw mechanic, it kind of took a step back to the original Gears 1 chainsaw with the Ultimate Edition. I'm not a huge fan of that because of how slow it is. I like the fact that Gears 2 and Gears 3, they repped up the speed of the chainsaw, made things a lot more easier. I understand they want to kind of depower it a little bit because it was a little OP sometimes. But I just think that if I'm revving a chainsaw and I'm coming at you with one, there's no way you're going to stop me. You know, I'm, I'm, that's adrenaline pumping, baby. There's no way. That's adrenaline. And once again, I just wanted to re-elaborate that number four through one are all great games that could all be in the number one spot. But my personal opinion is the way I've ranked them. So for me, Gears of War 4 is number four on this list, but it's still a very great game. It's just not as good as the other ones, in my opinion, but it's still good. Now at number three, I have Gears of War 1. Now I put Gears of War 1 here because it is a fantastic game. It is a groundbreaking game overall. And without this game, we wouldn't have all the other games. So I must give credit where credit is due. And the thing I wanted to re-elaborate, although it's not my favorite Gears of War game, it's still a very good game. I could actually take Gears of War 1 and Gears of War 4 and switch them back and forth, but when it came down to it, Gears of War 1 had to go at number 3 at least. Like I said, at the time we hadn't seen mechanics like this. This was the most beautiful game for any console at its time. I actually remember I had a PS2 at a time and my friend, he got the Xbox 360 and he got Gears of War. And I remember going over to his house to play and my eyes were like blown by just how perfect these graphics were. Now looking back at Gears of War 1, you know, it's a little eh. But at the time, we hadn't seen anything like it. So it was amazing. And when I say it's a groundbreaking game, it was a groundbreaking game. 
graphically speaking, gameplay speaking, even just overall perfect game speaking. It was groundbreaking. Did I mention it was groundbreaking? And in this game, we're introduced to Marcus Phoenix and Dom Santiago, two of some of my favorite protagonists in all of video games. A lot of crap goes down and they have to now fight for their lives. Now, where the other games would have much more grand scale, the whole situation going on was so much more smaller. It was more of them just trying to survive, not particularly fight a war, which we see in the later entries. And there was something so nice about just this small narrative of two friends just trying to survive. But like I said, it's a great game. And now that we have the ultimate edition, we can literally play that game again, just more pretty. Man, I just love this game. And like I said with Gears of War 4, this one could be number one too. But these next games are just a little bit better. At number two, I chose Gears of War 3. Now this was one of the toughest decisions I ever had to make in any ranking because Gears of War 2 and Gears of War 3 are some of my favorite games from my childhood and even till now. I still occasionally pop in the disc and play them. Or well, now that I have them downloaded on my Xbox One, I can play them through backwards compatibility like that. So I still play them a lot. Now the thing about Gears of War 3 is the campaign is awesome. The story is awesome. The characters are awesome. Everything about it is just truly epic, which is awesome because that's epic games game. And I'd say in the grand scale of things, Gears of War 3 is an overall better game than Gears of War 2. But I'll get to why I prefer Gears of War 2 more. Right now, let's just focus on Gears of War 3. It was an epic finale to an awesome series. I would compare the Gears of War trilogy to even the Halo trilogy. It's that good. And one of the best things about Gears of War 3 is that it kind of wraps everything up that we've been fighting for through Gears 1 and 2 in a nice little bow because it gets rid of everything. I would put a spoilers up, but this game is like six years old now. So you should have played it by now, especially considering how good it is. This is one of those games that are so perfect that there's barely anything to even complain about. Now, of course, there was the occasional glitch, but overall, everything was just improved upon. In my personal opinion, this gameplay was the best. But of course, one of the most awesome things about the Gears of War franchise is the story, specifically the cooperative campaign, because you can play with four players in this campaign. I remember me and my three friends, we went through the entire campaign, beat the whole thing in insane difficulty, which is the highest difficulty. And it was tough. It took us forever. We actually had to take a break throughout the weeks because we were still in high school at the time. So we kind of had to like decide around it. My one friend could only play on the weekends. So we had to kind of figure that out. And eventually we did it and it was awesome. I mean, like I said, there's not much I can say about this game. It is an awesome game. If you love Gears of War, this is probably the best Gears of War game to you. And I honestly could not go against that at all because it is a really good game. And I truly understand why someone would put this at number one. But just to re-elaborate, fun game, awesome characters, and a perfect ending to an awesome trilogy. It did exactly what it's supposed to do. It gave us a tomorrow. That, that's a reference to the end of Gears 3. Only, only the true fans will get it. And of course, moving into number one, we have Gears of War 2. Now, the reason why Gears of War 2 is number one on my list is because of just how impactful it was on my childhood slash teenage years. Now, like I said, the original Gears of War was a groundbreaking game. Remember, I said groundbreaking like 10 times already. So it was pretty groundbreaking. But I feel Gears of War 2 took that formula and just shot it right through the ceiling, honestly. I think in all aspects, Gears of War 2 was a massive leap on top of Gears of War 1. It took this little story and spanned it across this entire world. It made you feel like you were part of something bigger. You actually felt the impact of everything going on. Now, of course, you feel the same in Gears of War 3, but Gears of War 2 is where you truly started to feel it. It wasn't just about getting yourself out of there and surviving. It was about getting your entire race out of there and surviving. It was about fighting back. No more running. Now we're fighting back. And in the end, we win. Go figure. But a lot of stuff goes down, the gameplay was increased, horde mode was introduced, and now every other game has their own type of horde mode because of this. But of course they call them different names. Think about it. Halo has firefight, Call of Duty has survival mode. They're both essentially horde mode, just not with the name horde mode. So you can thank Gears of War 2 for all those game modes. Now like I mentioned, Gears of War 3 probably has the best game mechanics and gameplay. The reason why Gears of War 2 truly is my favorite is because I think its story is the best. I think it's engaging, but it's also fun at the same time. I think it does that perfect blend. And like I said, it raises the stakes. And like I said in many of my other videos when I talk about sequels, a sequel should take what the previous installment has laid out and build upon it. And I think the entire Gears of War franchise has done that every single time. 
the side of judgment. But like I said, Gears of War 1, 2, 3, and 4, they can be mixed and matched. If you think Gears of War 4 is the best, that's awesome. It is a really good game. If you think Gears of War 1 is the best, that's awesome. It's a really good game too. But if you think Judgment is the best, then I'm going to place Judgment that you are a horrible human being with a small penis. <laughs> Just kidding. No, but seriously, what are you, a millimeter, Peter? But from the action to the introduction of the Horde mode to the entire campaign to the incredible engaging gameplay to the super interesting characters, Gears of War 2 has it all for me. And that's why Gears of War 2 is number one on this list. But of course, that's just my opinion. What is your opinion? How would you rank all the Gears of War franchise? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe if you guys enjoy my videos. And until next time, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.